Hey everyone, um, today we are going to be making a video, no, I'm going to be making a video, you guys aren't making the video, you're just watching the video. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I think might make a few people angry if my incels video is anything to go by. I made the mistake of looking at the MGTOW tag on Tumblr, which is like men going their own way. It's like anti-feminism but to the extreme because this is like men who think you know they they don't need women and blah 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 and they're like we're not sexist but stuff like that it was a very weird tag to look at because not only was there lots of this like anti-women stuff there are also a lot of posts by incels and there are also a lot of posts by feminists and also radical feminists who hate men so it was kind of like Everyone was just angry at everyone and it wasn't a very pleasant place to be. But today, mostly for a giggle, we're going to be looking at some of the um, posts that were tagged like hashtag MGTOW or, you know, M-G-T-O-W, however you want to say it. And kind of, we're going to be having a look at this, having a little bit of a giggle about it, probably making some people angry, so sorry in advance for that. I do want this to be a light-hearted video, but I don't want to just like make fun of these people. But at the same time, I feel that like some of the things they come out with are so ridiculous that like you just kind of have to make a joke out of it, otherwise it's terrifying, you know? I don't know. Anyway, well, let's look at some of these posts. There's not too many. Um, and have a little chat about them and then we'll just see what happens. Uh first up I found this uh, MGTOW blog that has quite a lot of posts, we're going to be looking at a few from it. I thought maybe it was satire at first, but then the more I read, like just the sheer volume of it was like, no, I think this guy's serious, which was a little bit upsetting. Modernity has shown us how women act when they get a license to behave any way they want. They cover their bodies in tattoos, they sleep with a thousand chads, they date crim criminals and give birth to their children, they abort their babies, they drink alcohol like they are men, they wear skimpy clothing, and they smoke like chimneys. Absolutely vile. Well, as a woman with a license to do whatever I want, um, I don't actually do any of those things, but even if I did, it wouldn't be a bad thing. As long as a person isn't hurting other people, I don't see why it really matters. Like, how does it affect anyone else? How many people a woman sleeps with? Or how much alcohol she drinks, unless, you know, it's affecting her family and friends, and th that's, that's a whole other story. Yeah, I, just, I find it insane. I just feel like adults should be allowed to do what they want, as long as they take responsibility for their own actions afterwards. If a woman wants to go around sleeping with a thousand chads, that's absolutely fine, as long as she practices sa safe sex, and if she does get pregnant, she acts responsibly about it, and you know, she gets regular tests and use condoms and whatever, and doesn't mess with anyone's feelings, I don't see why it's an issue. I just feel like as long as people are being responsible for their own actions, and accepting the consequences of them, I don't really see why it matters. We shouldn't police other adults and their behaviour. Not when it comes to little things like whether they get tattoos or, you know, whether they smoke or not. <sighs> The same blog um, released this like miniature essay of a post that says women are not adults. And again, this is where I think it all comes from. So much of this like MGTOW stuff is about like belittling women and treating them like children and being like, hey, well, we don't want you to do this because you're very, 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 very. But this is like justifying all that behavior by saying, well, they're not adults anyway. Like this is why we treat them like children. Adults take full responsibility for their negative actions. Women rarely do. Their first reaction is to deflect or blame someone else. I don't think that's the case. Yes, there are plenty of people out there who don't take responsibility for their actions, but we should criticize them as individuals, not just assume it's a whole gender thing, because it's not at all. I know as many men as women who do that. Adults are able to manage their lives without external supervision. How many women do you know that can make sound decisions regarding finances? Few of them have the self-discipline to save money. Well, me for one my sister for another, all of my female friends for like five more. <laughs> I don't have that many female friends, but the ones I do, very responsible. Women are terrible at making decisions because they think with their hearts and are full of fear and insecurity. Well, I disagree with this. Yes, certain studies have shown that men tend to lead a little bit more towards the rational and women tend to lean a little bit more towards the emotional. However, as human beings, we're all controlled by our emotions. 
it's the first kind of like driving force in a lot of our decisions, even in men. And even if there are gender differences, like there are still outliers, there are still people who fall at different parts of the spectrum. Not every woman is only controlled by her heart and not every man is only controlled by logic. It's a big spectrum, all people are different. You can't make these big sweeping like generalizations and use it as a bad thing. And even if women are generally a little bit more emotional than men, again, that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes you need a little bit of heart in decision making. You can't just be cold and calculated the whole time because that's not how human beings work. Sometimes the best decisions come from a place of like empathy and caring and wanting to do the best for other people, you know? Women's natural role is one of subordination. She is a follower, a dependent. She has no business being in any position of authority over men. The mere idea is offensive. No. That statement is offensive. Western society operates on this absurd notion that women are equal to men, because they are. And this is why we have lost our way. If you view women as your equal, you will inevitably become frustrated with their inability to live up to that designation. Let's view and treat women based on what they are, not what gender idealism tells us they should be. And if we, <laughs> and if we get to rebuild this civilization, it is paramount that they are not allowed to vote ever again. Because that worked out so well in the past, didn't it? Another post by the same person. Why would any man want to settle down with a woman who wasn't a virgin? Even if she had just one boyfriend, she still had sex with him dozens of times. It's still second hand. Modernity is disgusting and I want no part of it. Well, don't worry because even us second hand women wouldn't want to touch you. Not with an attitude like that. This whole idea of like second hand women, it's disgusting, it's not nice, is it? It is treating us as objects. What a person has done with their bodies in the past should have no impact on who they are now in their current relationships. As long as they were safe, as long as they're currently healthy, it really doesn't make a difference. If you're worried about a woman's sexual past, I think that says more about your insecurities than it does at anything about her. Seriously, if a woman's with you now, she's with you now. That's her decision. It doesn't matter what's happened in the past. Same, you know, the other way around as well and whatever. I don't see why this has to be a gender thing. Interestingly though, one of the things I found on this hashtag was like that the MGTOW guys really don't like being called incels. They make it kind of like very known that they could have women if they want to, but they choose not to. Very defensive. And they really don't like incels. I think, again, it's kind of like an insecurity power thing, but... That's just the impression I get. Uh, this guy says, incels are men who can't go their own way. Incels are the opposite of MGTOWs. MGTOWs who are only claiming the title because they can't get laid or adopting a healthier mindset. Incels are obsessed with female validation, which is why they can't go their own way. They need women to like them. It's truly pathetic. Some of them even celebrate violence against women. I'll never support that. I rebuke them completely. Okay. So you don't support violence against women, that's good. You just like to belittle them emotionally instead? Okay. So you'd never hit a woman, you just want to take away all her rights. I get that, yeah. Apparently incels are obsessed with female validation, but MGTOWs are clearly only obsessed with females. For people who claim they're going their own way, they spend a hell of a lot of time talking about this other gender that they want nothing to do with and belittling them and putting them down. It does remind me of you know when you get toddlers who like pull a girl's hair because they like her? It's like that, isn't it? This bit was really weird to me. Um, society is a female construct, which we all know is like ridiculous. If you look back at history, if you've studied sociology even a little bit, you know that not all, but most major societies were patriarchal. They were essentially built by men and it's a good thing that we're moving away from that because it often wasn't always the best thing. Society has always been a female creation. Well, that's just not true. Women determine what is socially acceptable, correct, and favorable. Again, I don't think that's true. Otherwise, like this idea of like female virgins wouldn't be so prized because women know that like, it's not really a big deal, is it? It's men who treasure that. It's men who put importance on that. When women favored traditionalism, men who had traditional views were viewed in a positive light. Now that women fa- Okay, so. <sighs> He's claiming that like, I don't know, even go back as far as like, say the 50s maybe? Women were more traditional then and wanted this nuclear family and they wanted to stay at home and cook and clean and that's why men who agreed with that were seen as great. It was definitely the women in control of that, not the fact that 
you know, society was pretty patriarchal and men had all the power and were building up other men. Meanwhile, they told women that they had to stay down in their little housewife roles. And this guy has it backwards is what I'm trying to say, I think. Now that women favour governmental provision, men who hold traditional views are viewed as misogynists, only the misogynistic ones. Society views a good man as being wealthy, uh, sociable, ambitious and handsome because these are the traits women approve of. Society does not view men playing video games in a positive light because women can't directly benefit from it. If competitive video game playing was as popular and lucrative in the West as it is in places like South Korea, perception would change in accordance. Well, that's just pathetic. I think the problem that some women have with men playing video games is that, like, if they're in a relationship with them, they feel like they aren't spending enough quality time together because men are busy playing the games. Whereas, like, when it comes to me and Dan, Dan likes his computer games, but often we tend to play them together, which is why I don't really have an issue with it. Um, it's something like, it's an activity that we do as a couple. Nothing to do with if women can monetarily gain from it. Another post says, women think MGTOW hate them. It's not hate we feel, it's contempt. Contempt is a very different emotion. Yeah, and it's so much better, isn't it? We look down on you, you disgust us, we don't respect you enough to even hate you. Hate should be reserved for people on your level, your peers, not for malfunctioning helpmates. Someone asked them, real question, why? Like, what drives someone to think like this? Their reply, experiences with women. This is what I mean, it's just, it's so dehumanizing and it's bizarre to me. I don't get how you can see like literally half the population as like not even being human. Like you disgust me, you're not on the same level as me. That is misogyny, you can't say that it's not. If a woman said the same thing about men, it would be sexist and disgusting as well. You can't just look at someone and say, because you have different genitals to me, you're less than me. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I just, I don't get the people who, and this this is just a very personal thing, I don't get the people who put up such strong boundaries between people who just look different to them. The people who think, well, you can't do X because you have these genitals, or the people who think you must be X because you have this skin colour, or you must be this because you have this family history. I just, I don't get it. I think, I, going off topic here, it's the same as the people who like complain about like cultural appropriation stuff. And again, this is probably gonna make people mad, but I just, I don't get it. Why can't people just enjoy human things? Why do you need to have five generations of ancestors born in such and such a place in order to say, I wanna do this hairstyle? or I want to wear this dress. I just, I don't get it. I don't get these like walls that people build up. I feel like as long as you're being respectful, you know, if you, if you want to have a certain hairstyle or something, yeah, maybe you understand the history behind it. Maybe you understand why people started wearing that hairstyle or that dress or these clothes or celebrating this holiday or whatever. It's good to understand the background, but as long as you're being respectful, I don't see any problem with people just celebrating all sorts of cultures and all sorts of different people and everyone kind of like coming together in this big amazing melting pot and like taking the best bits from all over the place and creating something amazing. I just, I don't get why people wouldn't want that. I don't get why they put up these artificial walls. It's really bizarre to me. Anyway, this person also posted um, another point saying, why would any man want to settle down with a woman who wasn't a virgin? We, oh, we actually saw this earlier, didn't we? Yeah. So someone responded with the great little response, because like men, women are also human beings. As human beings with relatively short lifespan and the capacity to make mistakes, we end up settling down with people we later regret having into our lives, even completely ignoring your gross second-hand crack. A question like, that shows you're lacking even the basic level of understanding. And people do like to be understood. People like to be forgiven for the dumb stuff they've done. If you're not willing to extend that courtesy to people, ain't no one gonna be willing to extend it to you ever. Brilliant, fantastic response, I love it. But apparently, this is not about people making mistakes. It's about a sexually depraved society where STDs, single mothers, and abortions are rampant. STDs are easily preventable. We just need good sex education to teach people how to be safe and to get tested often and so on. I see nothing wrong with single mothers or abortions. They're things that can't be avoided and that we should support the people who need to go through that stuff. Simple as that. Uh, there used to be standards. Now people are trying to normalize STDs. Giving someone HIV is not even a felony in California anymore. Women aren't built to have multiple sexual partners. 
well that's not true. It destroys their ability to bond. The process is called oxytocin depletion. Oxytocin is the bonding hormone. They also release the hormone during childbirth. Okay, I don't know if this is true, but I call crap on it. <laughs> Just a hunch. Like I say, yeah, I, I don't know if there's any actual science behind this, but even if there is, not everyone wants to bond with another human being. Not everyone wants to be monogamous. Not everyone wants to settle down and be married for 40 years. It's just not right for some people and we shouldn't force it on those people if they don't want it. It's okay for people to have different lifestyles, you know? Doesn't matter what your gender is, it's okay to say, I don't want that for myself. On to a couple of other posts from other people quickly. This guy says, kill all cam girls now. That is all, because why would you want a woman being independent and making money for herself? In a similar vein, someone else said that sex workers are just exploiting the pockets of innocent men. All they do is take advantage of men's natural sexual desires for their own monetary gain. God, it's almost like that's how the economy works, isn't it? But that said, damn farmers, oh, you know, farmers are just exploiting the pockets of innocent humans. All they do is take advantage of humans' natural desires for hunger, for monetary gain. Oh, damn farmers and doctors and water treatment plants just taking advantage of human nature. Oh, damn economy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, my point is, I guess they're trying to say that like sex work is somehow different to all those other professions because I guess sex work is predominantly female, not completely, but predominantly. And it's something else to complain about, isn't it? I also like, I just, I don't understand it. Like, do you want women to stop taking advantage of men and stop living off men and stop like using men for money? Or do you want them to stop being independent and making their own? It, it makes no sense. One minute you're saying women shouldn't be reliant on men, women are just using men. And the next minute you're saying, oh, these independent women with jobs shouldn't be allowed to have these jobs because they're not mature adults. They shouldn't be allowed a say in their lives or a vote. So like, what, what do you want for women? Do you just want to get rid of us completely? Is that, is that it? Because you, you can't seem to make up your mind, can you? Should we have jobs or should we not have jobs? Should we be independent or should we be reliant on men? I don't get it. So anyway, they're, they're all the posts I have. I'm gonna end this here. I know it's been a little bit more rambly today. I don't know, I just, I felt like a, a good ramble about these things. I guess I don't really understand this whole way of thinking where you just reduce people down to their characteristics, saying, I don't like X group of people because they have Y. I don't get it. And it seems a lot of like internet politics and internet social issues revolve around this now. And that's what I find really difficult. I just think, you know, obviously there are some things where you'll notice trends among certain groups, but to say that all women must be like X or all people of this ethnicity must be like X or only people of this, I don't know, age, race, family, blah, 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 must do X. That just kind of confuses me and I don't get it. I don't understand reducing people down to a characteristic. I just think treat people as people, treat people as humans and understand that, you know, with, with a few exceptions, everyone feels feelings, everyone has emotions, just have a little empathy for people, treat people as you want to be treated, just that's, yeah, that's what it all comes down to, isn't it? Treat people with as much respect as they're due. Don't assume that just because someone has certain genitals, or just because someone dresses a certain way, or just because someone's from a certain family, don't assume they're a certain way. Get to know them first, is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is really basic stuff, and I can't believe I have to, like, say it in a video, but I see things like this on Tumblr, and I'm like, well, it apparently needs to be said still, so there you go. Anyway, I'm shutting up, I'm gonna stop talking now. I've probably made a lot of the MGTOW guys very angry. Apparently, I got told in my last live stream that some people see me as like a little bit of like an anti-feminist kind of stuff, which is weird for me because I don't really see myself that way. Um, I'm all for like just, I don't know, equality. I'm very kind of like central, I guess. Um, 
but not in a like I don't have opinions kind of way, more of a just like, oh you're both stupid kind of way. <laughs> I'm shutting up now, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, I hope I didn't make anyone too angry, I just basically think treat people as people, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna shut up now, let me know what you thought of these posts, let me know what you think of the whole MGTOW movement, if you know any kind of MGTOW YouTubers that you'd like me to kind of like have a look at their content or respond to or anything like that, let me know that down in the comments. I'm gonna shut up now. Thank you so much for watching today, I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much to everyone who watched today, and to everyone who is supporting me on Patreon this month, including Gambit and Shofa, Deshawn, Christian Berg, Rachel B. Royer, Jaden Shepard, Corthy, Jaylee Moore, Sir Michael Moore, Christian Opitz, Sage Villarreal, Greg Ladd, Spencer Young, and Lauren Hart. And to everyone else who's mentioned on this end screen and down in the description below, thank you so so much. And to everyone who watches my channel, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays and just a wonderful little December, and thank you all so much.